And you came in just a fraction after the Mad Men heyday. Yes. But were there still a lot of martinis and tight well, sweaters? Well, here, here's what happened. Sort of, so, you know, I, I thought I missed all the fun. I was, uh, Mad, Men, <laughs> Mad Men was about 15 years when, it's, when Mad right. Men started, the first, the first series. Uh, it was about 15 years before I was in the business. And uh, there were lots of martinis, but they weren't in the office. That's what happened in the 15 years. It's, they all went across the street. So there was as much drinking uh, and there was probably as much sex, uh, but it, it was all now outside of the office instead of inside the office. But I think one of the things that Mad Men nailed, based on, on my own experience coming in 15 years later, is the role of women. I think they, ju they got that. Uh, and there was not one woman at Ogilvy when I joined who was in an executive position, and there were, there were some of them in a professional position, who had not started as a secretary. Wow. Every single one of them had started as a secretary. And, uh, uh, and so it was just, that's just the way it was. Yes, well, it's a very good reality check for, you know, current women working, you know, who like to complain about how difficult it is, just to remember, you know, the kind of struggles that people like you had to go through yeah. and do yeah. so with a great big smile. Yeah. So. No, but it, was, but it was great. I said I always had this enormous power. I, it, I was aware of it at the time. But just imagine, you know, first of all, most of the products that we were selling at the time that we were advertising were products that were directed to women. You know, so you, you have to, so picture this conference room. There are 12 men sitting around a room, a, a table, and me, and they're pontificating about, you know, sanitary napkins. Actually, it was true. Kotex at Kimberly, Kimberly Clark had no women working there. Just, uh, and, there were, <laughs> and there were no women. And so there were these men who were just talking about what it was like to have your period, which I just found extraordinary. It was just, uh, uh, for all the women in the room, here was my, I remembered this line to this day. Here's my favorite line. So the male creative director said, it's the promise of fertility coursing through your body. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, you, you, sir, obviously have never had your period. <laughs> and so, so, after, so after about 20, half an hour of this conversation, they would all turn to me and go, well, Shelley, what do women think? <laughs> and, and I was now talking on behalf of all women in the world. It was just, a, the power was extraordinary. So, so I don't think I was ever disadvantaged. I actually think I had this enormous advantage because I was the only person who came close to like doing laundry. You know, wow. not that I did it that often, but at least I had the potential of doing laundry. <laughs> <laughs>